Years ago, I was someone who wanted to indulge in the instant gratification because I wanted the feeling of instant pleasure and something that felt good right at that exact moment. I was playing video games a lot, a lot of times with my friends. I was eating the bad junk food, chips, candy, soda, all that bad stuff. I was watching porn and jerking off. I wasn't in the gym, wasn't pushing myself to do anything hard or challenging. I had no understanding of what delayed gratification was and how that really worked and understanding that putting in work will eventually give you the real pleasure and the real gratification of completing something challenging. I just wanted something that felt good right then and there and that I could feel happy with. I had no inclination of sacrificing things to better myself for the future. I was just doing all these negative things. As you guys can tell by the title, today's video is about sacrificing things now for a better future for yourself. And that can be something small right now. It can be if you're just trying to change your physique, there's things you need to sacrifice to be able to do that. We need to be comfortable being uncomfortable and doing uncomfortable things because when we're staying in the comfortable position, we're getting that instant pleasure, we're doing the things that aren't helping push ourselves or challenge ourselves for the future to be better, we're never gonna change. We're never gonna be a better version of ourselves. We're never gonna build that business that we wanna build. We're never gonna start that YouTube channel and build that YouTube channel that we wanna build. We're never gonna pursue our passion, our dreams, our goals if we're staying in that comfort zone. And you have to look yourself in the mirror and figure out what things you need to sacrifice to get to where you want to be. For me, you know, that was sacrificing junk food and eating a lot throughout the day because I wanted to lose weight and add more muscle. And I needed to stop eating how I was eating and how often I was eating. And for my YouTube and just building something with my life and pursuing my passions, I had to sacrifice playing video games as much. I still enjoy playing video games the times that I do, but I don't nearly play it as much as I used to. And there are often times where I think I have time to play them and I'm about to go play them. And then I realize, you know, I should do this instead, you know, make a YouTube video or pursue my passion in life or go to the gym. And so I sacrifice playing video games for that moment and I go and do something that's more productive and that's going to help better myself for the future. Same with the gym, you know, some days I don't want to go to the gym, but I do. And that's a sacrifice that I'm making. I'm sacrificing comfort of not going to the gym and just hanging out at home and relaxing basically and getting that good feeling of just being able to relax. Instead, I go to the gym now. I push myself even when I'm uncomfortable and when I don't want to do it. And it's those moments that, you know, we're really going to help better ourselves for the future. And we don't realize how much damage we're actually doing to ourselves when we don't do that. Yeah, playing video games might feel good in the moment. Not going to the gym might feel good. You know, jerking off to porn feel good in the moment, right? But our future self is hurting from that. It's going to hurt our future self. And we won't realize that now, but it will. And it is in that moment, we are doing the comfortable things and we're getting that instant pleasure and that instant gratification. That's just hurting our future self. It's not easy sacrificing some things. You know, you may have to sacrifice hanging out with friends sometimes because you have to do some work or, you know, you got to go to the gym at that moment because you haven't gone to the gym yet. Maybe you got to sacrifice, you know, drinking alcohol when you go out with friends. Maybe that's something you enjoy, but when you're trying to change your physique, that's a big hindrance to changing your physique. So it's not easy and it is uncomfortable, but the more we do it, the more we get used to it and it just becomes second nature and we set ourselves up for greatness in the future. I like to say this quote per se that Kobe Bryant actually said. He said, the journey is the dream. Going through the journey, the times when you don't want to get up in the morning and go to the gym and work out, you know, the times you don't want to help build your business and put in the work to build your business. The times you don't want to sacrifice the comfortable things. But when we do that, that is actually the dream and the journey. Because when we're going to look back 
on that one day and be like, if I didn't sacrifice those things, if I didn't push myself during those times and I didn't do those things, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And we can do those things later on in the future, like play video games here and there, or, you know, have a drink of alcohol. You guys shouldn't jerk off in the future. That's not what I'm saying. But some of those things we have to sacrifice now to be able to do them one day in the future. Like hanging out with friends more often. Because when we're trying to build something and we got to sacrifice these things, sometimes we're not always going to have the time to hang out with the friends maybe as much as we like or as much as they would like. It really comes down to how committed you are to what you're trying to pursue and what you're trying to do. Nothing's going to come easy. Of course, we know that. Nothing's going to happen like that. But we just got to understand that the more we sacrifice now, the more we can have in the future. It goes with everything. It does. You know, spending money to go do fun things with your girlfriend or, you know, with your partner or with friends. Not just video games, drinking less alcohol, not going to the gym. It counts with everything in life. Sometimes we have to put energy towards what we're trying to build more than other things that we're trying to do for now. Nothing changed for me until I started doing less of the things that gave me instant gratification and instant pleasure and doing more of the things that gave me delayed gratification and I saw no results from instantly or no good feeling. You get a good feeling from doing something productive, from working out in the gym, that's a good feeling because that was something productive. You know that you did something that's bettering your future self. And that's a good feeling to have. That's what you want. The moment that I started seeing things was when I started doing the difficult things that gave me delayed gratification. Reading books instead of playing video games. Eating less and working out harder in the gym and going to the gym more often. Started leaning out, started getting stronger, adding a little bit more definition. And those are things that I'm still doing. Because like I talked about in previous videos, we're always constantly going up. We always have to go up. It's a never ending cycle. We never reach the full, full top. We get to very high levels, but no one ever, ever reaches like the exact full top, which is why we can always just be better every single time. Even when we think we're at the top, we can always be better. There's ways to be better. And that's fascinating. We can just find new things to do. We can find new talents we have, new productivity we thought that we didn't have and we couldn't tap into. But when we do, it just opens our brain to how much more we can accomplish. When we're in those uncomfortable situations, use self-talk. Tell yourself you love this feeling right now. You love being uncomfortable. You're going to crush this, whatever it is that you're doing. Sacrifice that past self for your future self, which is a better you more productive you, more knowledgeable you, a better mindset, better mentality, a better physique, just a better man overall. And you guys will thank yourselves for it, for real. Get the things down that give you instant pleasure right now and that are ruining your future self. Write them down and slowly start marking each one off, day by day, one day at a time. It doesn't have to be all in one. You don't have to get rid of everything in one day one thing a day and eventually you'll start to get rid of all the bad habits and do the more productive habits. I believe in you guys. You guys got this. It won't feel good sometimes because you'll want to do the things that make you feel comfortable at times. But if you really just understand that when you do the things that make you uncomfortable or that are harder, it's just helping your future self and you'll be proud that you did it when you look back in the future. You guys aren't on this journey alone. I'm sacrificing things every day. Every day I write down new things that I can get rid of that mess up with my mentality, that hurt my future self. And I try and work on those things and work them out of my life. So just know I'm going through it with you guys as well. It's a constant journey, but it's a journey that we're gonna be proud of and we're gonna be happy that we went on. If you guys enjoyed, and you stuck through the whole video. I appreciate you. Thanks for sticking around. Just a quick little video. 
sacrifice your comfort now for a better future for yourself, for your family, for your wife, and you guys will thank yourselves for it, okay? My email is in the description below in case you ever want to reach out to me. Anything fitness, life, self-improvement related, relationship related, hit me there. I'll be on the lookout. And this was Jordan, and I'll see you guys in the next one.